Order in for your aircraft. To fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal fitting into the buckle, and then pull the release in to tighten the belt. To win better safety, please remain seated. Harbor Island in the Bahamas. Paradise, uh, we're in the Bahamas <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> Guys, don't kill the magic. In the Bahamas celebrating the marriage of Melissa and John. And we are so excited. We're here to celebrate the coming together of two awesome people. I've waited 22 years today for this moment. long overdue, but we are also happy that it's happening. They have been through so much together, and I'm so happy to see that their journey has taken them here to this amazing, magical place. It's surreal to see everybody arriving and coming here to celebrate a love that's been going for so long, but to actually see it commence and so many people that said they wouldn't miss it for the world. You know, if people are going to come to a destination wedding, we wanted to offer people the opportunity to take advantage of the islands. Melissa chartered a water ferry and took our guests over to another island. We had a welcome brunch cocktail party. Ocean Tally, a beautiful restaurant on the cliff. Melissa and I are excited for you guys to be here, and we could go around to every person here and explain some of the really great memories we've had and the contributions we've had to our lives. I would like to raise a glass. Thank you for being here, and I'm so appreciative that Melissa said yes. <laughs> When I met John 20 years ago, one of our first boating trips was to this island. Melissa pulls up in this boat with John Jacobs, and Melissa jumps up the boat screaming my name, almost landed in the water. And I realized at that point this was a part of their life, a part of their passion, and part of what it's going to be in the future. This island has something for everyone. It's got fishing for John. It's got one of the best beaches in the world, which is a place where Melissa can go and do her yoga and run. Harbor Island is a very magical place, one of a kind, and that's really what Dad and Mel are. John is a uh, kind of laid back guy. Nothing pretentious about John. You feel comfortable around him. Um, with a person of his caliber, you would expect other ways, but he has it all together. He's real. He's always thinking of everybody else except for himself. John is very patient, very steadfast. He's a very conservative, humble, thoughtful man, and I'm kind of energetic fly by the seat of my pants sometimes. So we balance each other well. Oh, this is great. A picture for my office. That grounded figure in my life that reels me back in. Last night, we had rented out the Rock House, which is a beautiful restaurant here. 
We got engaged there a year ago, and we really wanted to host an event there, so we chose to have cocktails. So about 20 years ago, my dad introduced me to Melissa. Mel's been in our lives for as long as I have a memory. Melissa is like experiencing a whole other dimension of the universe. She's got more energy and passion and zest for life than anybody that I've ever met. Melissa, to me, is got the most amazing big heart. Melissa is a gem, and she's doing the same thing she did as a little child. One thing I remember, she always loved pretty dresses, pretty hats. She's the most unselfish, most loving, most caring, most giving person you will ever meet. She's just great. Really, really terrific person. I know as a son how much it means to me to see you two getting married today. And we're so thankful that you could all be here. Melissa's always been part of our family. And to know that tomorrow, that it's officially her family, it feels really good. I'm so excited to be here for one of our best friends, John and Mel. It's been a long time coming, but they both deserve each other. It's going to be awesome. Did you know of coming? I had no idea. After 22 years, <laughs> after 22 years, you're oh, just imagining it's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be at our next anniversary. It's going to be on our next adventure. It was actually the most perfect time. I feel like I had to grow and mature, and John needed time too. And it sounds like it's a long time, but it was in perfect timing. I know this is going to sound silly, but I took a course about a year ago because I was turning 60. I joined a group, and there were 12 people in the group, and we had a, a, every morning we had an accountability call about trying to work on the five areas of our life that we chose. And one of the areas I chose was Melissa and I. And so for three months, every day, I said something nice to her in the morning and nice to her in the evening, and I did something helpful for her every day. And what happened was our relationship just went from a, a seven you know, to a 10. I saw the beauty in being with her. Of course, I've known that she was the person I wanted to spend my life with for a long time. And then I decided that she is the most important person in my life and being married and having a wedding and walking with her father down the aisle is a really important thing to her. And I decided that, you know, if she's the most important person in my life and that is a very important thing to her, it should be an important thing to me too. And it is. My dad just had a pacemaker two weeks ago. Um, so we didn't know if he was gonna make it. And he said he was gonna come. He was gonna be the lucky one and he was gonna get on an airplane and he was gonna get here for this day. And I'm excited about that. And uh, certainly I'm happy that I'm able to do it. There for a while I didn't think I was going to. I'm really excited to see Ed Posh walk Melissa down the aisle. I think that her father is going to be so thrilled to give his daughter away. Melissa and John love story began 22 years ago in Chicago. Through all those years, they both continued to love, respect, and care for each other. Both of you have been making informal commitments to each other for a long time. That promise you're about to make today 
It's a way of saying to one another, everything we promised, hoped, and dreamed for, we meant it in every word. I'm Melissa, take you John to be my wedded husband. Hi John, take you Melissa to be my wedded <laughs> wife. Don't make her laugh, John, but this is serious. <laughs> to laugh with you in joy. To grieve with you in sorrow. To grow with you in love. To share my life with yours. To support you through tough times and to rejoice with you in times of happiness. This commitment is made in love, kept in faith. Lived in hope and made new every day of our lives. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Family and friends, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. John and Melissa Jacobs. <laughs> Relationship. The best part about it, in my opinion, is that they always keep it interesting and they challenge each other. The perfect storm. I would say that. They just get each other. Dad's always been very adventurous and Melissa's so full of life and together, that's who they are. They're just a fun, adventurous, perfect match. I met Melissa when I was on drugs. <laughs> I had a group of about 12 guy friends that we had a couple parties a year together, and unfortunately, the day before, I had had a shoulder surgery. I was on morphine sulfate for the pain. I walked into the party, and I have to say, within 10 minutes of me walking into the party, he approached me. And in the penthouse walks this beautiful, young brunette. And I was just high enough to have courage. And he just started talking to me, asking me questions about me and my life, what I did, and took great interest in all the details. And we talked for about a couple hours. And she was interesting and fun. I was intrigued. From there, he asked me out on a first date a couple weeks later, and gosh, the adventure began. It was, it was pretty awesome. I don't think there are two people that are more meant to be than Dad and Mel. They've waited a long time to get married, but they've always been a couple that I've always seen as being one of the happiest that I know. I think everyone in this room can attest to Melissa being there for each of us as we celebrated life's special events. She's been there for every birth, every graduation, birthday, engagement, showers, anniversaries to our own weddings. Now it's your turn, Melissa, and we are all gathered here today to celebrate your marriage to John. Most marriages don't last 22 years, and they have both decided that now is the time that they're ready to commit the rest of their life.
to our newlyweds, my daughter Melissa and John Jacobs. I hope they have a long, wonderful marriage. I love you both. Melissa has everything. And if you were to say to yourself, would you be fortunate to marry a woman who happened to have everything? The answer has got to be yes. And so I would say it's because of that that I feel fortunate. I don't think it's a lucky is the right word. I feel really fortunate that I could marry Melissa. John is a Gosh, John's a renaissance man. He's respected in his business, loved by his family, enjoyed by his peers. Couldn't be a more beautiful man that has so many talents. The peace that he brings to me is a calm when I'm with him. So I'm, I am the luckiest girl in the world to be with a man like that.